Hello everybody. Behind me is the last remaining part of the Hatfield House that Elizabeth I would have recognised. And I'm here today, oh, it's 17th of November, because this is the anniversary of when Elizabeth came to the throne in 1558. She was in the grounds of Hatfield House when she, uh, was, uh, when she was told that she had become queen. And it's in the Great Hall of Hatfield House behind me that she held her first council meeting. But that is the only part of the palace, or well, the yeah, the Hatfield Palace, Hatfield House, which um, which she would have recognised, and it was kept as stables for the new Hatfield House when that was built under the reign of in James of, uh, under the reign of James I, and um, it was used as a stables, and it was used as stables up until about 1915 when it was renovated and brought back to life. Um, which is the only reason it's uh, it's really still here, and apparently there is shot in the um, in the rafters in the roof inside, and that is from when it was being used as stables. Um, apparently they would try and shoot the swallows that were nesting up there. I don't really know why it's necessary to shoot the swallows, uh, <laughs> but uh, apparently that is why there is gunshot in the in the roof in the beams inside there. But yes, this is the only part of um, of Hatfield House that Elizabeth would recognise. It's sort of that that Tudor red brick kind of that we, we come to expect. Um, but it was in crown hands from the time of Henry VIII who kept it, uh, who got it for like as a nursery for his children. So Edward VI spent a lot of his childhood here. Elizabeth I spent a lot of her childhood here. Um, but it passed out of crown hands into the Cecil family uh, under the reign of James I. Uh, the Cecil family had a house nearby called Seabolds and James I obviously when he inherited the throne inherited the crown lands one of which being Hatfield House um, but he preferred Theobolds so they did a house swap and this became the the residence of the Cecils um, uh, the, the, the Cecils first Lord Burley um, second Lord Burley they didn't like it he he he, uh, he ripped it down and 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 built his own house here, keeping the great hall from the uh, from the original as his stables. So there you go. That is the remaining part of Hatfield House. See you soon. Bye.